now that we have an ERD, we can actually go ahead and create models for each of those entities. So I'm going to start with the, the church's entity, and we'll go through each one of those in a separate video. So this is real easy. We do a Rails generate model, and it's church. And <coughs> what it's going to have in there is a user ID which is a key back to here. So the way that we can do that is we can say that we're going to reference or that this model references the the user model and it will create the, the right um, set up for that. And then we have a, a name and we have a picture which is a binary And we have a website. And finally, we have a description. So, description. And that will generate a model for us to be able to create a church that has a reference back to our user model. Let's just quickly look and see what that did. So if we edit our migrations, we can see that this creates as our church's table. It references user and it automatically indexes that. And then it creates all these different data types right here. So it, it's very nice uh, to, to do and, and we'll set that up for us. But before we run this migration, let's go ahead and create all the other models and then we run all those migrations together.